They're preparing as if the Dolphins are preparing as if the rookie, Skylar Thompson, will get the start. Teddy Bridgewater also, of course, working his way back. Well, number one, I think you have to ask yourself if you're a Dolphin fan if Tua is going to be able to play the rest of his career yes. on a consistent basis. I so, agree. number one, you're going to have to decide if you want to go forward down the road in 2023 with Tua because this is a major problem. And the kid was playing really well, but he had the concussion with Buffalo. He had the concussion with Miami. He has a concussion with Green Bay. I mean, that's three concussions in a span of, you know, three months. I mean, that's very tricky. So I didn't think he would play this week. And I don't think, I don't know what you do with him in the future. Do you hope after seven months, who's to say this is not going to happen again? So I don't know how Miami will handle that question in the offseason. As far as the game is concerned, Sunday it kills the game. I mean, I don't want to look at it that way. This is more important with Tua, but it kills the game. I don't expect Bridgewater to play broken finger. You can't expect him to play. Skylar Thompson's going to walk into Buffalo and win the game. No way. He barely beat the Jets he, with Joe Flacco. He's going to walk into Buffalo, and the Bills, you know, playing for a lot of emotion right now, you know, a team that could win it all. He's going to go out there and beat the Bills in that building. Not a chance. More reason why he needed Pittsburgh to make the playoffs from a competitive standpoint because they had a lot of juice. Tomlin, Pickett, they were playing real well. And Miami, Buffalo, Sunday at 1 o'clock is a disaster. I don't know how the rest of you feel about it, but that is, I mean, that game's going to be hard to watch. Thompson's not going to beat the Bills up there. It's not even that. My mind is just more with Tua and, and his future and well, sustaining the concussion. Well, I think we, I, I think in, in the interest of fairness, we can have our mind on all things. Number one, we wish Tua the best. Uh, his career is in trouble because they're talking about the possibility of him having to live with these issues throughout his career, which means that he's going to miss his year of games, particularly with the attention that has been brought to bear down the pond. Uh, the con whole concussion issues as it pertains to players from the National Football League. So you know if they see the slightest thing uh, that rattles Tua, they're going to have him yanked from the game. They're not going to leave it up to the team. So you got that going on. And I still say it was a huge mistake to have him come into that game against Cincinnati and went four days earlier against Buffalo. He had gotten up and fall back down. I'm a staff. And he came him. back in the game against Buffalo in the second That's half. Right. Yeah. That was a big. That was a. That was a big mistake. That's number one. Number two. You know who else I think about? Tyreek Hill, because I think that Tyreek Hill is absolutely positively electrifying. But you know what? You got to have somebody to throw you the ball. Yeah. And you departed from Patrick Mahomes to go to Tua. And you didn't take into consideration that something like this could have happened. And the only reason I say that is because he is a miniature-sized quarterback. And so you didn't think about that, obviously. You got your money. I mean, he went there for the money. We understand that Miami paid the, the brother a boatload of money, which Tyreek Hill absolutely deserved, by the way. But you, you were playing with Patrick Mahomes, and now you're going to be playing with Teddy Bridgewater or Skylar Thompson or whomever in the future because I don't know what kind of future Tua has. And then, of course, you know, you got the Dolphin situation. Doggy's right. We can slice it any way we want to. There is no way in hell that Skylar Thompson is going into Buffalo, New York, and beating the yeah. Buffalo Bills. It's disappointing it's all happening. around. It's disappointing as fans. It's disappointing because Miami was on a heck of a tear. And then obviously that two is dealing with and his health is the most paramount. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.